The present problem simulates the external airflow on the body of a car using ANSYS Fluent software. A rectangular cube area is considered as the computational domain of the open air flow in which the wind enters this computational area horizontally. This wind flow hits the front of the car directly and creates aerodynamic forces on the car. The three-dimensional geometry of this model is designed using Design Modeler software. The present model includes a rectangular cube computational domain with, uh, for the airflow in which a car is located. Also, the meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software. And the mesh type is unstructured. Also, the meshing accuracy is higher at the vicinity of the car surface. To simulate the present model, several assumptions are considered. We perform a pressure-based solver. The simulation is steady and also the gravity effect and the fluid is ignored. From the scale mesh section, we can check the dimensions in all three directions and also view the length unit that is in meter in the CFD simulation. From the mesh display section, we can display every surfaces of the computational domain, including inlets, outlets, walls, symmetries, and so on. Also, the y-coordinate 6 plane is the plane that displays all the two-dimensional contour on this plane, exactly at the middle of the car, and would be one of the best planes to show all the desired contours and also the vectors and that. The realizable K-Epsilon model differs from the standard K-Epsilon model in two important ways. The realizable K-Epsilon model contains an alternative formulation for the turbulent viscosity and also a modified transport equation for the dissipation rate Epsilon has been derived from an exact equation for the transport of the mean square vorticity fluctuations. The term realizable means that the model satisfies certain mathematical constraints on the Reynolds stresses consistent with the physics of turbulent flows neither the S standard K-Epsilon model nor the RNG K-Epsilon model is realizable also both the realizable and RNG K-Epsilon model have shown sustainable improvement over the a standard K epsilon model where the flow features include a strong a streamline curvature, vortices, and rotation. Since the model is still relatively new, it is not clear in exactly which instances the realizable K epsilon model consistently outperforms the RNG model. However, Initial studies have shown that the realizable model provides the best performance of all the K-Epsilon model version for several validations of separated flows and flows with complex secondary flow features. One of the weakness of the standard K-Epsilon model or other traditional K-Epsilon models uh, lies with the model equation for the dissipation rate or Epsilon. The well-known round jet and normally named based on the finding that the spreading rate in planar jets is predicted reasonably well but prediction of the spreading rate for axisymmetric jets is unexpectedly poor 
is considered to be mainly due to the model dissipation equation. The realizable K epsilon model proposed by Xi et al. was intended to address these deficiencies of traditional K epsilon models by adopting these following. For example, a new eddy viscosity formula involving a variable CM originally proposed by the Reynolds and a new model equation for dissipation or epsilon based on the dynamic equation of the mean square vorticity fluctuations. Just one limitation of the realizable K-Epsilon model is that it produces non-physical turbulent uh, viscosities it, uh, in uh, you know, situations when the computational domain contains both rotating and stationary fluid zones. For example, multiple references frames, rotating sliding meshes, and so on. This is due to the fact that the uh, realizable K-Epsilon model includes the effects of mean rotation in the definition of the turbulent viscosity. This extra rotation effect has been tested on single moving reference frame systems and showed superior behavior over the standard K-Epsilon model. However, due to the nature of this modification, its application of multiple reference frame systems should be taken with some caution. In the near wall treatment option, we select the standard wall function. Uh, because if the K epsilon turbulence model is used like in this simulation, it is not possible to simulate flow vortex near the walls. So a wall function must be defined that is a standard wall function for this simulation to investigate the fluid behavior near the wall. There are some default materials for fluid and also for the solid. The air is the fluid material and also the aluminum is the default solid material. We can check all the materials properties in this section. The operating pressure in the operating condition section is equal to the atmospheric pressure. The car wall is a stationary wall with no slip. The road wall or the bottom wall is also a stationary wall with no slip. The velocity inlet boundary condition has been specified for the inlet surface and also the velocity magnitude is equal to almost 77 meter per second the outlet has a out, uh, pressure outlet boundary condition and also the gauge pressure is equal to zero and all the other lateral walls and sides are assumed to be as a symmetry in the boundary condition section. The pressure implicit with a splitting of operators or piezo pressure velocity coupling scheme, part of the simple family of algorithm, is based on the higher degree of the approximate relation between the corrections for pressure and velocity. One of the limitations of the simple and simple C algorithms is that new velocities and corresponding fluxes do not satisfy the momentum balance after the pressure correction equation is solved. As a result, the calculation must be repeated until the balance is satisfied. To improve the efficiency of this calculation, the piezo algorithm performs two additional corrections, neighbor correction and a skewness correction. For meshes with a high degree of skewness, the simulation coupling of the neighbor and skewness corrections at the same pressure correction equation 
may cause divergence or a lack of robustness. An alternate, although more expensive, method for handling the neighbor and SQNS correction inside the piezo algorithm is to apply one or more iterations of SQNS correction for each separate iteration of neighbor correction. For each individual iteration of the classical piezo algorithm, this technique allows a more accurate adjustment of the face mass flux correction according to the normal pressure correction gradient. For setting under relaxation factors, we should say that the pressure based solver uses under relaxation of equations to control the update of computed variables at each iteration. In ANSYS Fluent, the default under relaxation parameters for all variables are set to values that are near optimal for the largest possible number of cases. These values are suitable for many problems, but for some particularly nonlinear problems, uh, for example, some turbulent flows or high Rayleigh number, natural convection problems, it is prudent to reduce the under relaxation factors initially. It is good practice to begin a calculation using the default under relaxation factors if the residuals continue to increase after the first four or five iterations, you should reduce the under relaxation factors. Occasionally, you may make changes in the under relaxation factors and resume your calculation only to find that the residuals begin to increase. This often results from increasing the under relaxation factors too much. A cautious approach is to save a data file before making any change to the under relaxation factors and uh, to give the solution algorithm a few iterations to adjust to the new parameters. Typically, an increase in the under relaxation factors bring about a slight increase in the residuals, but these increases usually disappear as the solution progresses. If the residuals jumped by a few orders of magnitude, you should consider halting the calculation and returning to the last good data file saved. The standard initialization method has been identified and selected for the CFT simulation and computes from the inlet boundary condition as we can see in the initial value section, the initial x velocity is equal to 77.76 meter per second. That is the boundary condition of the velocity inlet of the inlet boundary condition. Click on the initialize button and go to the run calculation section. The number of iterations is specified as 1000. That seems more than enough for this CFD simulation. Click on the calculate button to start the solution. Here is the turbulent intensity two-dimensional contour that shows the maximum turbulence intensity at the back of the car after the vortexes and brake phenomena has been occurred. This is the pressure contour and as it is obvious the maximum pressure occurs when, when the wind flow collides with the car body at the front of the car. 
and here is the velocity two-dimensional contour we know that the inlet velocity or assuming the car velocity was equal to 77 meter per second somehow but the maximum velocity in this contour is more than 100 meter per second that uh, this uh, maximum velocity occurs at the bottom of the car between the bottom of the car and the road and also at the roof of the car Here we can see the velocity vectors at the back of the car and also at the front of that and see the uh, vortexes and uh, also we can change the scale and skip section of the vectors tab to show the desired view of the vectors. Here, following this way, we can display the and calculate the uh, forces at every direction that we want. For example, for the drag, the direction f must be identified as x equal to 1. And also we can see the uh, drag and also drag coefficient. And by changing the x direction to y direction, we can check the lift and also lift coefficient the graph of drag and lift coefficients in terms of the number of the iteration are obtained A summary of the defining steps of the problem and its solution is given in the following tables as a review. To benefit from Mr. CFT services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at signmrcfd.com.